Alright, what's up everyone? Mediocre Update Finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more killing uh, Flora 2. But yeah, man, this Killing Floor update, it is a little bit better than the previous one, but it's just... I mean, someone commented on the previous video and he said, Yep, Tripwater are making the most forgettable updates known to man. And yep, I do agree, that's... Pretty much the best word to describe current Killing Floor 2 updates, forgettable. I mean, I know I should be, you know, playing by now, but I mean, I'm just gonna go on a little bit of a rant. These updates feel like they're just mods. So yeah, literally the only new thing in this update is... The two DLC weapons. Yep, quite sad, so bad, but I mean, today we're gonna be playing with the G18C only. So let's hop right in and see what this beast can actually do. But yeah, keep in mind, you do have to enable cheats to get this weapon, and yep, here it freaking is, the G18C. I mean, for those of you who are unaware, this is going to be the upcoming DLC weapon for the Gunslinger. And yep, if it stays how it is currently, it's going to be one of the most overpowered weapons in the entire game. I mean, just look at it, fam. But yeah, I mean, high rate of fire with, you know, not that much recoil, but it does have a lot of spread for long range. But I mean, killing through two maps are pretty much all close range. So yeah, this weapon is going to perform exceedingly freaking well. I mean, even there, what, I just like missed two shots, three shots, and he is still dead. Yeah, boy. See, so look, long range, it's actually... You know, terrible. But I mean, Gunslinger is just going to be pretty much always up close. And yeah, this is what it does when you actually get up close. It just mows down the Zeds. Then Pegos. But yeah, just gonna be playing, I know, like two rounds with the single one. And then I'm just gonna change into the dual wield one. To add a little bit more of, how should I say, pizzazz. I mean, dual clocks, they're pretty much just overkill at this point. Yeah, boy. But yeah, keep in mind, the animations for bashing actually don't line up. As you can see, it just looks weird, and it's even worse for dual wield ones. But yeah, like I mentioned in the previous video, yep, this is going to be a tier 4 weapon, which means upgrade it once, and it's going to be even stronger. But yeah, something I didn't mention in the previous video is that this map just got a whole lot brighter, so yeah, just activating the generator is going to be doing p pretty much nothing. I mean, I don't know why they did that change, but that's the change we got. I mean, I kind of thought it was, you know, a little bit more... I should say better beforehand, because it was a little bit darker. You know, it added that, like, extra, I don't know, obstacle in the game. You just have to have that generator on for you to, you know, see something. But now, I mean, you just, like, see even without the generator. So it's literally only for, you know, the seasonal objective, you know, light it up. Which is the only objective I currently have, because, like I said, haven't been playing that much recently. But yeah, just take a look at this. This is the room without the generator on, but I'm just gonna go and... Turn it on, and you're just gonna see what it's gonna be doing. Spoiler, not that much. Yeah, Dude, I, I just can't get over the clocks. I mean, how is this going to be a balanced weapon? I mean, if they make it so it has, like, a lot of negatives, you know, a mo much more recoil. Okay, so l look at this. These are the lights that, you know, the generator powers on. Boy. Okay, can't even see stalkers because I am legally blind. Just kidding. But yeah, but honestly, stalkers, I just can't see them for some reason. Okay, my question is, does it actually light up the outside? I mean, it should, right? Oh, this is just, like, bright to all hell. I mean, to be fair, this is the beta, so they might just turn down the brightness a little bit in, you know, the final release, but... I mean, something tells me it's not gonna get changed. Okay, stupid ass freaking stalkers out of my face. I got an OP pay-to-win weapon at my disposal. Wait, what? Okay, Spooder is just coming from... We can't actually spawn from up there. Because if that's the case, yep, that's going to be pretty, pretty sad. Oh god, I mean, j j just look at this. I'm not even, like, trying or anything. I mean, the shots just connect. Yeah, boy. I mean, when you aim with this thing, it's just... No recoil, pretty much. And on top of that, if you, like, control the recoil... See, look, everything just went straight there. Okay, of course, it's going to be a fidget spinner, though. Okay, Figaro. No. Oh god, that was easy. Pretty much the easiest match of my life. Okay, now I'm just gonna give myself two Glocks and let's see how much carnage I can actually, you know, put out. But yeah, I, mean, I don't know about these slight changes for the map. They kind of feel 
Unnecessary. But I mean, what do I know, right? I am just your boy, Putfunder, always complaining, your boy. So yeah, now the Glocks are going to be at tier 5, so that means they're gonna be doing a little bit more damage. Well then, here we go with wave 3 out of 4. I mean, hopefully I'm gonna get some flesh bones, some scrakes. But yeah, this is the only problem with the Glocks. I mean, look at that spread. Yep, long range, you're gonna be hitting jack shit. Yeah, that's just some delay. A lot of delay, uh, and I don't like it. But I mean, like I said, this is the beta, so nothing is gonna be working as intended, right? Oh, po. Yep, and that's the flesh bone dead. I mean, fair enough, I'm playing solo here, so... He does have a little bit less health, but you can probably tell what it's gonna be doing on ya boy multiplayer. Pretty much the same thing. Just hold the trigger down for an extra second, and he did. Okay, let's just get the hell out of here, Siren. I don't even know what the hell you're trying to pull here, because I do have... Literally the lawnmower in hand. But yeah, like I said, these weapons shouldn't even be played with in the beta. Because they're still like, you know, fine-tuning the damage and, you know, animations and stuff like that. So I guess we'll see how it's going to be in the official release. I mean, most likely they're going to be fixing it for beta 2, right? I mean, they should be doing that. Opa! Idar! Dude, this is just such a brain-dead weapon, I swear to god. You don't even need to do anything. I mean, just just picture the SWAT. The gunslinger is just a better SWAT. Tell me, look at this. But yeah, a lot of people been actually asking, do you get this weapon free if you already bought the right shield and the Glock? Because you know that weapon pack actually has a Glock in it. And nope, that is not the case. They're gonna have to buy this weapon for an additional 10 freaking bucks. So yeah, if you want this overpowered piece of machinery, get that wallet out. Oh, that was awkward. Kind of got... Stuck on my mouse. Oh we got Scrooky Scrook. Oh, opa. Yep, effortless. I mean, fair enough, if I had Desert Eagles, it would be pretty much the same outcome. But I mean, with the Desert Eagles, yep, you at least need to have a little bit of aim. But with these things, you just go spray and pray and everything's just dead. Oh my god, martial artist fam. Yep, that's the perk that we should have gotten instead of this bad boy. Ah, rest in pieces this game. But yeah, look at this, the generator actually went off and... I mean, I can barely see a difference, but I'm just gonna reactivate it because why the hell not? I mean, it's kind of funny that this is, you know, a seasonal objective, activate the power generator. I mean, there's just so much more they could have done. But nope, just press E and seasonal objective complete, right? Easy clap. But yeah, I mean, is this weapon going to be a meta weapon for the gunslinger? I mean, if it stays as is, yes. I mean, they did say, you know, DLC weapons are not going to be paid to win, and I mean, it, it's kind of pay to win if you ask me, but I mean, paying to win against AI, it, it doesn't really matter now, does it? it? In my eyes, it's pretty much pay to have a little bit more fun and a little bit more content to just, you know, play. That, that's how I see it, personally. Wait, what? Why are you here? Okay. I mean, just like bash him away and just like go sideways, right? And now just spray and break his ass. Yep, and that's how effortless this is. Oh god. Tripwar, what are you doing? I mean, I don't even know if this is, you know, being done by Tripwar, or maybe this is like Saber Interactive or something, I don't know. But yeah, not gonna be complaining too much, let's just go and spray and friggin' pray. I mean, on top of that, this weapon has a lot of freaking ammo. I mean, the only way they can balance this thing right now is give it a lot less ammo, give it more recoil. And it's maybe somewhat balanced. Or maybe even then it's still not balanced, I don't know. Dude, he just got clapped. I mean, he didn't even have any plans. Okay, spooler time. Dude, this is just trash clearing, big thing clearing, getting rack em ups in 3 seconds. Yep, this weapon has it all. With it's already way 4. Okay, Pego. I'm just gonna bash you then. Okay, we are getting like a lot of flesh bones, not sure from where though. I mean, here's one. They just got completely annihilated. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Scrake, I didn't even like headshot him all the way and he just collapsed. Okay, there is like a bunch of Scrakes here. Okay, I do have to like bash him to get past him, so that's something I have to do. Oh, you're in my way. Well, not for long. Okay, I'm getting like hit from behind though. Oh, but a quarter pound. Okay. Okay, need to reload a little bit. Just, just, just collapse. Dude, I'm actually not even trying right now. I'm just... 
Playing as casual as casual can freaking be. And, and they're just dying. So yeah, like I said, if there's going to be a Z over there, yep, you can see all of the spread. Yep, look at that, that is a lot of spread. So yeah, do consider this, if you're going to be buying this weapon, yep, you're not going to be hitting anything long range. But can't you destroy this? Okay, you just have to shoot it, apparently. But yeah, I mean, combine this weapon with, I don't know, Desert Eagles. And maybe not upgrade these and upgrade these instead. And then get, I don't know, a Medic Pistol and you got yourself a Meta Gunslinger build. Because as you all currently know, yep, Desert Eagles are pretty much the most overpowered thing in the game. If they're upgraded to Tier 5. Now, okay, let's see which boss we're gonna be ruining, man. Go. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, that's the new mage here, skin. Doesn't look that bad, I guess. With where's she at? With are you coming down the stairs? Okay, let's see what the clocks are gonna be doing to bosses, man. Okay, already got pretty much all the rack mobs I need. Okay, now we're gonna be doing that. Let me just quickly reload. Okay, how did you hit me twice? Do those things, though. Okay, let's just go down to this flat freaking area because I don't want to just, I don't know circle you over here because why not do those freaking things yep this is yeah quite good but yeah this is what i originally thought that the clocks are going to be like used for you just get a lot of rack em ups at once you know just like that and then you just like go for the desert eagles okay now she's going to be shooting me from behind or maybe not okay i just want to like hit her before she hit me but apparently not wait what How'd you do that? Okay. M Matriarch, what are your plans? Yeah, I know about these locks, man. I mean, you guys can let me know what you think about them currently. Fair enough, it's beta 1. But I don't imagine them changing it all that much, to be honest. And now let's just, I know, run a little bit away and then just gather out in the open. Okay, this looks like a wide open spot. Let's just go and kill her. Dude. The freaking Glocks, man. I swear to God. Yep, j just a little bit too good. So yeah, this is pretty much what the Glocks are currently in beta 1. Hopefully they're gonna get, I don't know, maybe reworked a little bit because they're just flat out better than any other gunslinger weapon but yeah like i said before tripwire did say the dlc weapons are not going to be paid to win but i mean like i said in an ai killing game how is there even paid to win you're literally winning against ai and i don't think that's that impressive in my opinion but i mean some people do take this game very seriously so i don't know man but yeah anyway hope you guys enjoyed do let me know what you guys think about the glocks and i will talk to you guys in the next episode adios